Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this Nemo inspired makeup tutorial with Nemo and Dory. I got this inspiration from Glitter Girl C. She has an Instagram as well as a YouTube account with the tutorial to both of these eyeshadows and I followed pretty much her exact tutorials. I didn't have the same exact products but I recreated it with how her technique was so if you guys want to go check her out then i will leave a link to her youtube down below in the description so if you guys want to see how i got this beautiful nemo and dory inspired makeup look then go ahead and keep on watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you like to be notified every single time i upload a new video and comment down below let me know what you guys think about this look and let me know if you guys think i should make this into a disney series so without further ado let's get into the video All right, so we're going to start off with Dory, and I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. It's their white one, and I'm applying this with a small detail brush first just to outline it, and then filling in the rest of the body, and then tail fin with that product. And then I'm patting it out before I go in and start putting in the eyeshadows. That way, I'm working with a smooth canvas. So now I'm taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection Armed and Gorgeous and I'm taking this yellow shade called Access and I'm applying this with a small pencil brush on the outer fin. So as you can see I'm putting it on the outer tail fin and then kind of putting it a little bit onto the body. So now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise palette and using this light blue shade called Macaw and I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and packing that on to the center of the lid all the way to the middle of the eyelid. Now I'm taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Vault Palette and I'm going to take this dark blue shade called Busted. This shade is so pigmented, I love it. I forgot how pigmented it was because I haven't used this palette in forever and whenever I went in right here, I think I picked up way too much. So I was able to use a lot in one area and it just looks so pretty. So I'm basically putting it anywhere that I didn't apply the yellow or the light blue and I'm using that same detailed flat brush to apply it to the area and then to blend out that um, dark blue into the lighter blue I'm taking more of the lighter blue and kind of stamping it in between the dark and light blue area and then I'm going to go back in with the yellow just to sharpen up that line that we made on the outer corner. So now I'm going to take that same pencil brush that we used for the white and apply a little bit more white on the top of that blue. And this is going to be Dory's top fin. So I'm just pretty much drawing a line across and sharpening it at the very edge of where the fin would be and applying that light blue shade right on top of that. Everything doesn't have to be perfect right now because we will go in and fix everything once we get all the colors applied. So right now I'm going in and fixing stuff, taking the dark blue shade and just sharpening up the outer edges. So this is the NYX matte black liquid eyeliner and i am just outlining all the lines that are black on all of dory and i'm going in with one layer and then i will keep going back and forth and just making sure that those lines are perfect my lines are normally never perfect the first time i always have to go in and just keep working at it make sure that they are as even as possible all the way across. So you guys will just see what I'm doing here. There's no really 
you just have to see what Dory's uh, fins look like and the areas that are black on her body and just kind of mimic that. So now I'm going in with this Snazaru face painting palette and using this orange shade, I just spray a little bit of water since these are water-based paints. And I'm using that to do some details on the outer fin with a flat eyeliner brush. Now I'm taking that same white with that pencil brush and doing her bottom fin. I'm just drawing the outline of the fin and then I'm going to apply the yellow to the outer portion and the light blue to the rest of it. And with that same black eyeliner, I'm just gonna go around and outline the outer edge of the blue. So now I'm taking that dark blue that we used on the eyelid and apply that to the outer part of the lower lash line and that baby blue we're applying it to the front of the lower lash line and for my inner corner highlight I'm using the shade VIP in the Armed and Gorgeous palette and applying this with my lower lash line as well. And now I'm using that same NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner to line the top of my eyes. And then for mascara, I'm applying the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is the black brown shade. I'm applying this two coats to the top lashes and about a coat a little over a coat to the bottom lashes and applying the LA Girl gel eyeliner in black and that is the finished side for Dory it's super super cute I decided to do my eyes first and then my face makeup because I'm doing so much detail and using so much color I didn't know how much it would have fallout i really didn't have a lot of fallout though surprisingly um but yeah so now i'm doing pretty much the same thing outlining the body of the fish and the fins for the nemo side using that same nyx jumbo eye pencil and filling it in and then i will end up patting that out as well just to make it super smooth before going in with any eyeshadow colors Now I'm taking this orange shade called Cardinal in the Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise eyeshadow palette and I am using this for all of the orange lines on Nemo and I'm precisely putting these in um, a packing motion and then I'm applying them just like a regular eyeshadow but I want to pack this color on first because that's when you'll have the color appear a lot more vibrantly and you just keep patting and then you can start swiping on the eyeshadows after you got the pigment in place. So I'm pretty much just following exactly how Glitter Girl C did hers and I thought it looked really cute. So now I'm going in with the white shade called Cockatoo and applying this to the white areas of the stripes. This white is actually super pigmented. It's probably the most pigmented white I've ever used. I love the Makeup Revolution palettes. So now I'm doing the top fin the same way that I did Dory's. I'm just applying that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm going in with the orange and white eyeshadow to bring the fin a little bit higher. So 
So now I'm going in with the details with the black liquid liner by NYX. And I'm going in between the white and the orange on every single stripe. And kind of just making a bunch of little lines. And yeah, it's pretty much all I'm doing to make the black parts of the Nemo. So now I'm taking the Snazaru face painting palette and using the red shade mixed with some water and I am using this to add some more details to the fins. So I'm applying it in just a few different areas and then I'm taking that NYX Jumbo eye pencil and using that on my lower lash line and then going back in with the orange to make the stripes on the bottom lash line and then I'm going to go in with the white and add it to the white areas. And then I'm going to add the black details between the stripes again with the same eyeliner. So now I'm doing the bottom fin for Nemo. I wanted to make this a little bit shorter, but I accidentally made it longer than I was wanting to. But I'm just applying that eyeliner. Or that jumbo pencil and then applying the orange on top of that and making the detailing on the black part of the fin and then I'm also lining my top line just like a regular line I'm not doing a wing or anything like that and I'm also using the same LA girl eyeliner in the shade black and then going in with that same VIP eyeshadow to highlight the inner corner of my eye as well as the brow bone and then I'm taking my same mascara and applying two coats to the top lashes and a coat to the bottom and that is the finished look I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup off camera but if you guys want to know what I use on my face makeup I will have that listed in the description box so let me know what you guys think about this look. Let me know if you guys like my face makeup. I will do a another Disney look if you guys would like. So if you do like the Disney looks, then give this video a thumbs up. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know exactly what you guys thought of it. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.